Hey there guys, welcome back. Um, during this tutorial I just wanted to show you um, some tips with regards to the effects. Um, you can see the effects panels here, top left and right. Um, you can make sure that these effects are displayed by these buttons here on the side. We have either the master clock or the effects. And over here we have recording or effects. You can also change that if you go into system preferences bring this in here and inside the global settings you can change it here to make sure it displays whatever you want it to display so we want it to display the effects right now so we'll have it set to that inside the effects this is where you can say what the effects unit type is so on the left we have uh, insert type send or return so we're going to have it as insert we'll just leave that as it is for now you can change the amount of effects units you have, 1 to 4, um, 2 to f 2 or 4, so 1 and 2 here, and, uh, one, and, 1 and 3 here, 2 and 4 over here. We'll have it for two effects units right now. And in the effects panel mode, you've got group or single. So group is um, like line through, so it'll, it'll work through each one of these effects. You have a group of effects, and you have delay on this one here and you can change the amount of delay you have, the amount of reverb, which is the second one down, and then the third one, the amount of flange that you put in there. So, for the effects, let's change group to single and see what happens. So now we have a single effect, but we have lots of different parameters that we can use for these effects, and lots of buttons that we can also mess around with. So, I just want to show you the delay effect for now. So I've got it set to single, which is like the uh, previous advanced uh, setting for the effects panel. Once we have it in there, I'm going to throw in a track here, and we can play this. So I just have an audio setting issue here. Let's get this done so that you guys can hear it. And here we have some music. Okay, so simple, delay effect. First of all, you need to turn the effect on, which is basically sending that effect onto this channel. So we still won't be able to hear, able to hear any effect right now because we haven't turned any of the parameters on. So although this is lit, nothing is on in here. So nothing will affect this channel. Let's say, for instance, I just want to pop a loop in here that's nice and quiet. I'm going to pop a 4 bar loop in, just here. I'm going to sync it up so it's a little bit better than that. So let's fire a sync here somewhere. Alright. So I'm going to throw on an effect here. So let's lower the amount of delay we're going to put on. We'll turn this on. And you'll notice that nothing, you haven't noticed anything, because the uh, dry wet is set to complete dry. If we put the wet up a bit, we'll see a bit of effect. And you'll hear that effect. Now we can change lots of things about that effect, lots of parameters. There's filter feedback and the rate of it. You're not going to notice too much difference just playing around with that at first. But when we start maybe taking the filter out, popping the feedback up, and we'll put the rate, we can use a quarter, so quarter of a bar. We'll do the same again. We'll turn the delay on, and we'll bring the wet up. Now the feedback is how much feedback you get, so it enters like a feedback loop, so you hear the same sound again over and over and over as it repeats itself. The rate is how quickly you hear that repeat. So eighth, sixteenth, so you hear it repeats more often. It acts like a delay. If we lower it down, that's a full bar, 404. Okay, turn the feedback down, and you'll see there's less feedback, so you don't, it's not as noticeable. 
even though we can increase the rate again, feedback's not as noticeable, but when we turn it up, more feedback. Now the filter, if we turn the filter up a bit, it sort of softens the delay. It's more noticeable it's more noticeable when you use the freeze function here. So the way I use this effects panel a lot is by using the freeze. Mainly at the end of a track if I'm bringing in a new track or something like that, but I'll show you for example here. So channel is set to effects one. We'll turn, we've got the feedback right up. I like the feedback right up. And I turn the filter down. I throw the effect on. I'll turn the wet up, okay, sound I like, we'll press the freeze button. Now we're set at quarter right here, so let's see what happens. It sticks on that freeze of one quarter, you can hear it repeating itself. Now if I turn the filter up, it'll slowly filter that sound out. and I can pop it back down, but it's already taken it out. As soon as I release the freeze, it'll go back to the settings that it's already in, just take the freeze off. You can change the rate if you like. Let's go up to 1 8 we'll press freeze. And it's gone on an eighth, because the feedback's really high up. It'll loop for a long, long time. Take the freeze off. We'll lower this back down. We'll lower the feedback down. Now, with less feedback, the freeze won't last as long. Still got the rate. With less feedback. And again, we can take it out with the filter. So the filter will affect how quickly the feedback disappears. If the feedback's up really high, and the filter's up really high, it will filter out pretty quickly. If your feedback's up really high and the filter's down low, it'll just keep going until we turn the filter up, and then it'll slowly filter out. We can still change the rate, but again, the filter still plays a part. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of how to use the filter a little bit. See you next time.